Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you so much for being here this evening. My name is Alexander Stead, it's Natasha Metcalf, and I'm the co-founder of Lyme Disease UK. My team and I are so grateful to Alexander for sponsoring this event and to everyone who's played a part in putting it together. Lyme Disease UK started out as a Facebook support group in 2013 when fellow sufferer Louise Dean and I recognised a lack of online support for Lyme disease patients. We both felt very alone after being newly diagnosed. We have grown bigger than we could ever have imagined with a membership of over 7,000 people and a team of 14 volunteers, most of whom are still very ill. We are now the largest Lyme disease patient support organisation in the UK. Lyme disease is such a misunderstood and complicated illness, which is why it's so important that the issue has been given attention both by Scottish Parliament and by Westminster. As a community, it means so much to us to receive this support after being feeling isolated and maligned for so long. Our aim is to ensure that no one else suffers the devastating effects of misdiagnosis and lack of treatment. Our Wake Up to Lyme campaign focuses heavily on awareness and prevention measures so that people can protect themselves as much as possible from Lyme disease. Like many of the patients who have come here today, I know how it feels to be dismissed and belittled by the medical profession. I know how it feels to be told an illness is all in my head and that there is nothing else that can be done. I also know how it feels to face the reality that the only option left is to seek private overseas treatment at my family's expense because life is simply too unbearable and being left without care is unacceptable. In our online community of thousands, the stories you will hear today are sadly not uncommon. We see daily evidence of doctors' mistakes as people are dismissed with distinctive bull's eye rashes which should warrant immediate treatment for Lyme disease. And people are being told that Lyme disease does not exist in the UK. Of course, we then go on to witness the terrible suffering and horrific complications that accompany misdiagnosis and lack of early treatment. We hear about people having to remortgage and sell their houses just to pay for private treatment, despite the fact that we have a national health service. This is why we are so passionate about raising awareness of Lyme disease amongst the medical profession and the general public. Thank you so much for enabling us to do this by attending this event, and thank you again to Alexander for inviting Lyme Disease UK to share our campaign with you all. I would now like to hand over to Dr. Berkowitz. Thank you.